quick question. Did you know that we have a 2D renderer in Universal Render Pipeline for making 2D games? Yeah, it's a dedicated renderer that provides you with 2D lights and 2D shadows. But you might be wondering, what is the 2D renderer? How do you get started with it? And what does it mean for my project if I use it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm Sam from Unity, and this is the tutorial for 2D lights and 2D shadows. Open up Unity, and let's get started. I have a demo scene set up right here in Unity 2019.3, which is using the lost script demo created by Unity. If you want to explore the project, I've left a link to it in the description box below. First of all, we want to make sure that our project is using the universal render pipeline. If you're not using it yet, we can go to Window, enter the Package Manager, and find the universal render pipeline in here. And then we just click Install. Now from this point on, I'm going to assume that you're installing the Universal Render Pipeline for the first time along with me. So I'm going to walk you through a few quick steps to show you how to make sure your project makes use of the Universal RP. After Unity finishes installing the package, we can close down the Package Manager. Then we're going to want to right click in our Project tab, go to Create, Rendering, Universal Render Pipeline, and pick Pipeline Asset. This is the configuration file for our project's render pipeline. We are now going to assign this so our project makes use of it. Doing this is super simple. We just have to go to Edit, enter the Project Settings, and go into the Graphics tab. In here, we'll click this little circle next to Scriptable Render Pipeline at the top, and simply assign our configuration file we just created. After doing this, your objects in your scene might turn pink, but that's no problem. It happens because the shaders in our project need an upgrade to be supported by the Universal RP. We even have an automatic upgrade system in place, which we can find if we go into Edit, Render Pipeline, Universal, and choose Upgrade Project Materials to URP Materials. The next step is making sure that our project uses the 2D renderer. Doing this is equally as simple, so just follow along. First, we're going to right click in our project tab and again, go into create, rendering, universal render pipeline, and this time pick 2D renderer. Now, we're going to assign the 2D renderer file to our universal RP asset file we created earlier. So let's highlight the universal RP asset file and assign the 2D renderer file we just created into the render list field. There we go. So now our project makes use of the Universal Render Pipeline and the 2D Renderer. So now it's game time. Well, technically it's design time, then game time. Anyway, you get the gist. Your scene might turn pitch black when you first switch over to the 2D Renderer, but that's only because the 3D directional light, which is in the scene by default, will not illuminate our sprites. We need to add a 2D light because otherwise we have no lights in the scene. So we are now going to start adding in some 2D lights. Just like with 3D lights, we can head over to the Game Object menu and pick Light. Now in here, we're going to see 2D at the top. So let's choose that. Under 2D lights, we can see that we have a list of different light shapes, such as point light and even freeform light, where we can form the shape of the light ourselves. I promise you we'll go wild with these options later in this video, but for now, let's go with the point light. You will notice that the 2D lights allow for detailed visual editing, meaning that we have a large variety of options to modify right within the scene view. We can pull the outer angles to set an outer angle, the inner angles for an inner angle, and modify the radius of our light. Of course, we have even more options in the inspector window. We can set a custom layer if we have certain game objects we want the light to ignore, and we can set a light order to set the relative order in which lights of the same blend style get rendered. We can think of blend styles as being similar to layer blend modes in an image editing application, and they include additive, modulate, subtractive, and custom. Now I did promise you that we would go wild with the lights, and point lights are cool and all, but let's make it even cooler by adding in a freeform light. This light source has a special feature where we can manipulate its shape. Let's click Edit Shape at the bottom of the Light 2D component in the Inspector window. Now in the Scene view, we will see the Shape Editor. This lets us drag each node of this shape 
but we can also add in new nodes by clicking anywhere on the lines between two nodes. This allows us to visually create any shape we want for our light source. If I had to pick one, my other favorite is definitely the sprite light. This light source lets us pick a sprite mask for our light's shape. So for instance, I'm going to click this little circle next to the sprite field and pick the sunspot sprite that comes with the Lost Crypt project. Now I'm going to increase the intensity. And there we go. We now have a very nice highlight in our scene. In order to demonstrate how fast and intuitive it is to work with the 2D lights, I disabled all of the lights in this forest and added my own ones. What I did is I used multiple sprite lights where I added some sun rays in between the trees and finished them off by adding some sunspot sprite lights on the grass. And this just adds that liveliness to our scene that appeals to our players, which you can see even more clearly if I just disable and re-enable the sunspot. Then I added some point lights above the trees and made sure that they point down to the player. These are going to act as individual lights that help the trees cast shadows. And speaking of shadows, let's get to them. Let me just give you a quick explanation of how the 2D shadows work. There is the shadow caster 2D component that works with the 2D lights in our scene. What we do is we add the shadow caster component to a sprite in our scene, which we want to cast the shadows. Then, if the caster sprite is within the radius of our light, it will cast shadows on all of the other sprites within the same light radius. When you add the shadow caster 2D component to a sprite, you will see that it is pretty straightforward. All we have to do is click Edit Shape, and then use the Shape Editor in the Scene View, just like with the Freeform Light Source, and click Edit Shape once again to save it. There we go. So now the leaves of this tree sprite in our forest cast one big shadow on all the sprites below it. So that's how you can use the 2D renderer and the 2D lights and shadows in your games. Let me know in the comment section if you're working on a project right now and how you're planning to utilize the 2D lights and the 2D shadows in your project. If you want to learn more about the 2D renderer, I've left a link in the description box of this video, which is going to take you to the documentation page. And if you want to learn more about Universal Render Pipeline 2, I have a link for that as well. So make sure to check them out in the description. And on that, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the comments section.